Hey guys, my name is Freedom. This is the 3D modeling beginners tutorial of the Autodesk Maya 2022. And start from now, I'm going to show you step by step how are you going to create the 3D models. And you can just check my video description. The tutorial summary included the move, scale, rotate, create model, combine and merge the meshes. The select objects, select edge and vertex, how are you going to select base as well? And then move, scale, rotate all of this, how to cut the edge and vertex. And also, how are you going to extrude the base, extrude the edge, extrude the vertex, smooth the model, connect the edges, connect the vertices, etc. To create a 3D model, you need to import the texture as well. It is included, how are you going to remap the UV? how to import the material and texture from pictures in your computer, and how to unwrap and fold the UV, cut the UV, merge and seal the UV, etc. All of this, we call it as the 3D modeling beginner's tutorial, the fundamental skills that you are going to learn in your 3D modeling in Maya 2022. And let's be quick. And now I'm going to start the Autodesk Maya. This is my Windows 11. You find the Maya from the Windows 11. I already installed just now. Well, I can just search it. Maya. Maya 2022. All right, this is the software. If today is your first day to learn and touch the Autodesk Maya, it is fine, it is okay to learn from this beginner's tutorial. 3D modeling. Now you can see the Autodesk Maya already successfully. Now the auto the Autodesk Maya already successfully loaded, and of course I can just close this. Close. Just look at the user's interface. If I zoom in and zoom out like this, without holding the alternate, if I press the middle button, I hold the alternate tube, and then press the, the mouse cursor, the middle button, then I can move the camera. If I hold the alternate to use my right, my left click, then I can rotate it. If I use the right click, then I can zoom in and zoom out just like this. Or you can just scroll. Right. You can see all the grid like this. So for the first skill, how are you going to move, scale, and rotate? model before that you learn how to move and rotate the camera just look at my mouse and keyboard that display at the left corner of the screen you can just learn from here All right so first just to create a model you can see now the user interface is at modeling if you choose the rigging it is another Face that show you all the shortcuts. First, just put it modeling and here poly modeling. As demo, I'm going to just create a cube like this. Click here, it is going to create and generate a cube immediately. This is a cube. Right. So now you can see if I click again here, this one actually it overlap with the cube. I want to move it away, just click on that. And press W, then you can move it away like this. All right. Next, how are you going to scale any of the three D mesh? You can see. You click on that. You press. You press R. Then it is going to switch to this gizmo. You can just scale it. If you just want to scale from the side, it is okay. And here is to scale from the top and bottom. And here you can just scale in Z axis. Right, just something like this. You can scale it anytime. When you want to rotate it, you just hold the alternate. Something like this. Right. 
Right. Just now it's just hit a shortcut. You can just adjust it here. That you can see different from different perspective of this. You are unable to rotate. You can just view from here. Just like that. The three perspective. You can change to something like this. But usually in 3D modeling, I may just get used to look at here. Right. Unless if necessary, I'm going to view from different different area. Right. So the next we are going to learn how to rotate rotate any of the 3D model as well. Click on that, you can press E. By pressing E, then you can just rotate rotate the 3D model something like this. Right. You can rotate this as well. You can see. You can rotate the 3D model. And always turn this on. Once you, you turn this on, you can see the outliner. Actually, you have two meshes. You have two meshes. Right. And next, we are going to learn how to combine the meshes as well. Sometimes you already create one. Let's say this is the model that I already created. I want to combine with this. So maybe I just press W. I want to approach this. Combine the model in this way. If I want if I decide to combine these two mesh to become just one single mesh, what am I going to do is just go to the modeling toolkit here. And then you click the first one, hold the shift and click the second one, then click combine. Once you click combine already, you can see it already is just combined to become one mesh. It's just one mesh, right? So from this tutorial summary, you already learned how to move, how to scale, how to rotate the camera and also after you create a model how are you going to move the 3d model how to scale the 3d model and also how are you going to rotate the 3d models and finally combine the mer combine or merge the meshes right select object select edge all right next one next tutorial what am i going to show you is how are you going to select all right first you can see once i click this is to select the object. And then once you selected the object, you can just rotate the whole thing. You can press W to move the whole thing, the whole object. Also, you can just press E to rotate, press R to scale the whole object like this. All right. Then move the camera. The next what am I going to show you is if you want to select the edge or just select any of the faces, yes, you can do it. Just hold your right click. Then if you drag it to edge and release your right click buttons, now you can select any of the edge. Let's say if I select if I select this edge, then I can scale it. I can move it as, as well, I can scale it, I can press W to move it, like this. Right. I'm going to show you a, a, just a new demo, file, new scenes, just by using a cube to practice. You can see this cube, if you right click, drag it to the face, then you can select, select the face. To select the face, of course, you can press E to rotate the face in any angle. You can press W to just move, move the face like this. Of course, you can rotate and you can scale the face as well. This is how are we going to create different 3D model just by using all this skill. And then if you want to select an edge, that is okay. Right click, hold the right click, do not release and then Move your mouse cursor to see, to go and meet the edge. Release your mouse. Now you can just select, 
select the edge. You can move the edge as well. Of course, you can press E to rotate the edge. Right. To create a 3D model, you need to be familiar with all of this operation. And how about the vertex? You also hold your right click, move your mouse cursor to vertex, and release. Now you can select any of the vertex. Of course, the rotation of the vertex is meaningless, but you can just move the vertex to anywhere that you want to put. This is a vertex as well. You can just move, then it will change the shape. Like this. All right. Now this one changed the shape already. This is how are we going to move, scale, and rotate the faces, vertex, vertices, the edges, and also finally, if you want to select the whole object, just hold your right click, shift your mouse cursor to object mode, then you can just move the whole object, rotate the whole object, and also you can just scale your whole object in a very simple way. Right. Next, what I'm going to show you is how are you going to extrude the face. Right. To extrude the face, as demo, I'm going to just use a new scene. I don't want to save. Now, I just create, create a cylinder. Now, in this cylinder, if you click, this is just an object mode. Now, if I want to select a face and extrude it, it is very simple. For example, if I want to just select this face, hold my right click and shift my mouse cursor to face. Now I can select any of the faces, something like this. Right, to extrude means you can click here, then this face is going to extrude out. Then you can just, just extrude it to anywhere. Like this. Right. Once you, you extrude already, of course you can press E to rotate to rotate the angle. It is going to face it to somewhere. Of course, same as just now, you can just hold your right click to choose the vertex and just select the vertex. Press W. Now you can just just track it to anywhere. That you want it to be. Right. Of course, you can extrude here as well. If you want to extrude here, just hold your right click and select the face. Click here. If you don't click the extrude, then when you move it, it is going to follow, follow move together with the nearby edges. However, if you already click the extrude here, it is going to become an independent mesh, something like this. All right. Next, you already learned how are you going to, how to extrude the face, and how about extrude the edge, something like this. You say now I right click, hold my right click to select the edge. Once I select the edge, if I click extrude, what will happen? Then this one will get extrude out for any of the edge. If you click extrude, you can just extrude that edge to become a new surface, something like this. Just a new surface. For example, here, I click extrude. It will extrude a new face, something like this. Of course, you can press E to rotate it as well. This is a surface, something like this. And the next is, how are we going to smooth the model? If you feel all these models are really low poly, you can see, here you can see this is a straight line and here is a straight line, you can see the edge. Then if you want to make everything smooth, you can just hold your hold your right buttons, shift it to B, 
the object modes. Then you select the whole object and click here, smooth. Once you click smooth, it is going to remesh something like this. But of course, it, it is getting a little bit ugly. I'm, I'm, I don't want this. Right. Next, we are going to learn how to connect the edges, connect the vertices and also connect and bridge the surface, the faces. Now, I just want to create a new scene. I don't save it. I will just create a few and move it away. Wait. Delete first. Create. Sorry. Create a cube. Create this one. Now I have two meshes. Of course, it's of course this one. If I click, it is going to to just make it smooth. But I don't want. Of course, I, I can just use the connect. Now is to select the face. I select the edge. I want to connect. Press enter. Select the face. You can see just now I, I just connect and cut a loop like this. If I drag and select in that way, I press enter. It already create new, new surfaces, something like this. This is like a loop cut if you want. But if you don't want, it is okay. So next, to connect the vertices or connect the bridge, let's say I want to connect these two. First, I must combine these two meshes. I click the first one, wait. I hold the shift just back to the object mode. I click the first one and hold the shift, click the second one to combine it first. Once combine it already, then I can just just connect the, the surfaces like this. Let's say here, I right click, hold the hold the right click and choose the face. If I want to connect connect this face to this face, you see, I click the first surface, hold the shift and select the second surface, then. Actually, I can just bridge them together. Here, you have a bridge. Once you click bridge, it is going to, to just link together, bridge together. Like this. And what about if you want to connect the surfaces? Let's say, now I create one more. Let's say I create a sphere. I drag this sphere. I have to back to the object mode and move away this sphere. And if I want to do some connection in between between the 3D meshes, then I have to combine it. Click and hold the shift, click the second one. Same as just now to combine. Then now you can see this is an edges. I hold the shift to select the edge. This is the edge. If I want to connect this edge together with this edge, how? Oh, right. First, I may just extrude one of it. I click extrude. Extrude is set here. Once I click extrude already, now you can see I extrude it out as, as a new surface. And I'm going to link and then to merge this edge with this edge. Actually, I can just use this. Then, once it's selected already, you can see, if you want to back to the select mode, you have to click here. Just now I click here, this is the selections. I drag, I drag and link between these two. It is going to link together. All right, control Z. 
if I drag from here to here, it is, it is going to have a, a perfect link. It's a link, link in between here and here. Now, first I have to extrude it, select it, extrude it out, then click the link, link from here to here. Now you can see it already linked together as a surface. It is really easy. Control Z is to to undo. So I link here to here. I extrude it first. Extrude it out, and then link it together. It is better. Now you can see all of these three D meshes already linked together. It be it already becomes just one finger mesh. This is the really fundamental skills that you are going to learn in the 3D modeling. Connect the edges, sorry. Connect the edges, connect or bridge the faces. And how are you, how are you going to connect the vertices? It is really simple as well. So now, let's say I just go to here, I right click hold the right click and select any of the vertex. For this vertex, if I click extrude, then you cannot, you cannot extrude it out. But what about if you want to, to just connect these two vertices to just make it an edge? Right. You have to make sure that you already right click to just select the vertex mode. You can select any of the vertex. You have to make sure your mouse cursor is at the selection tool. Let's say, if I want to extrude this, I have to click and make sure I already select it. Then you extrude it out. You can see once you click extrude it out, it already have, have it pop out here. The width, you can just put it as zero. The length, let's say you put 0 0.5. Now this is just a free vertex. Free vertex with an edge. If you want to link this to here, right, then you have to use the connection tool to just connect here to here. Then it really become, become an, an edge. So hold your right click, select the edge. Now, this is just an edge. Make sure you use the selection tool, select the edge. From this edge, if you want to create any of the surfaces, you just click extrude. It is going to extrude it out, extrude the surface, something like this. Right, so you can just create any 3D model. Just by using all these skills, you can create any of the variations in your 3D model. Now, this is just a single mesh. All right. You already finished learning this to connect the edges, connect the vertices, and also can connect and bridge the faces. Next, we are going to learn how to import the texture. Right. Import the texture, remap the UV, etc. Import material and texture. Okay, first, let's say I want to map this. Course. I can just right click this. Hold my right click to make sure it is back, back to the object mode. So now, once you click, it select the whole model. Next, what I'm going to show you is how to import the texture. In order to import the texture, you need to have some picture like PNG or JPG. Let's say, what about the wood texture? Now I will just go to the Google here. Texture heaven. Search the texture heaven. Let's say you can see some wood metals that break. Let's say if I want to have some wood like this here. Okay, this is a picture. Of course, you can download the pack, but as demo, I'm going to just choose 1K. Here, choose the zip. 
what am I going to download is just a the ZPG, the rest I don't want. I just want to have the diffuse. Diffuse and normal and roughness. Download. And now I'm going to wait for a while, it is downloading. Where is it? Is that already start to download? Of course I can just click, click the ZPG, 1K. Try to find it from the download. Compress. It is not yet downloaded. Okay, now it is downloading. It is already in my folder. Compress. The download locations it's okay if fail fail to download from this website we can just search the Google image a wood texture let's say if I download it from here, this is the wood texture. Just right click, save the image, save image as. Is there more? I'm going to just save it on my desktop. Wood texture. Save. Close it. So now, in this stage, you must turn on the texture so here to make sure you, you highlight this to turn on the texture. And next, right click. Sorry. First, you must make sure it is in object mode. Then you right click and then assign new material. Your right click must, must you must make sure you hold the right, right buttons and drag your mouse to assign new material then click Lambert under the Lambert here you should be able you should be able to see where's the Lambert yeah, let's try it again right click assign new material Lambert. So now it is already here under the color. Click. Then click the file. Open. As demo, just now the wood texture is on my desktop. Double click. Now you can see you already applied the texture. Next, just click your model and then click the UV. Go to the UV editor. In your UV editor here, now you hold your right click to make sure you can select a face, like something like this. If you click this, click. Now you will know that this is the face. Right. If you want to just to free free this out. Then you have to make sure you cut this out. This this will be now. If you click this, the location is at here. This is the face. Okay, let's say if you you only want to cut this, then 
you have to click cut and seal, then you click cut. Then this surface is already free out. You can just move it, move it to anywhere. You can see once you move it, then the texture will change. So if you move it to here, you can see it changed the texture. Of course, if you scale it, you press E, you press R to scale it, then the texture also changed. Right. Of course, you can press E to rotate. And, and you also can change the shape. Let's say now if you right click it, you only want to select a vertex, then you can just choose that vertex already selected. You press W, then you can move this vertex, something like this. This is the location of the vertex. Let's say you also can just right click and move the edge to remap the UV. Click. Now you selected the edge, then you can just remap the UV. Right click, hold the right click, select the face. You can see it is just something like this. You can free any of the surface out from here and remap, remap the texture. Of course, the texture you can just design it by yourself by using using the Photoshop or any of the, the software. What about if this surface, what about if this surface I want it to become a metallic surface, then, then I can just search a metallic surface from the Google, just for example. Image, images.google.com. Here I search for metallic surface let's say if I want to use this one right click save it on my desktop I name this as metallic surface and what about in Maya if I want these two surface to become metallic I can just click and hold the shift and hold the shift let's say these three faces I want to make it metallic I just hold the right click, assign new material, same as just now, and click the Lambert. Right here, under the color, choose the file, open from my desktop, the metallic surface, now done. You can see it already changed to, to become the metallic surface. It's only this one, two, three, three surfaces. Hold like this. Right now, selected already. Just cut it out. That it will have the freedom great. Split. Now this already have the freedom. I press R. Then I can just remap the texture. This is the metallic. I, I can press press E to rotate it as well. Like this. You have the metallic surface. You have different color. Alright, what had you learned? We check back our tutorial summary. We already learned how to import the texture, remap the UV, import the material and texture unwrap and unfold the UV. And just now we learned how to cut, cut and merge. Okay, let's say this one, we want to cut it out, this one. So click, click here, split, then it will have the freedom to just free this out. Then you can remap the texture. This side here, you can remap the texture. You can make the texture map to be bigger, it is up to you. Now you can see different map already. You can map it, map it to any location. Alright. So 
you can see we already finished so many skills as a beginners, beginners 3D modeler in Maya 2022. You should learn all of this and master it. And you can create a lot of awesome 3D models in details in your future. If today this is this is your first software, your first day to use the Autodesk Maya to create 3D models, this is a really beginner's tutorial, just the beginning of the 3D modeling. And that's all for today about my tutorial on 3D modeling in Maya 2022, beginner's tutorial. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D mod modeling and 3D animations, wait. Before that, you, you have to export it as FBX. Don't, don't forget this. You have to save it, click file, save as, save the same as, save it on my desktop. The file name, I will just choose a model 01. Save it. Now, it will save it as a Maya file, you can close it. And make sure you don't move the location of your texture, you can just open it again. Once you open it again, it is going to load. And this 3D model, you can just export it as FBX. Okay, this one, I have to close it. You can click File, Export as FBX as well. Export all. Export it as FBX. And the file name I'm going to put as the model you will want. Export all. And where is the export location? Again, File, Export. Export all. Export it on my desktop. File name. Model 01. Now, this is the FBX file. If you double click in, it is going to load in any, any of the software that can read the FBX file. Something like this. And this is your first 3D model. If you want to use a third party software like the iClone, 3D Exchange, etc., for example, the iClone, we try the iClone 7. This 3D model, you can use it in any other third-party software. You can import the FBX 3D model into any third-party software. Okay, you can use it again and again. You just have a try. All right now, I will just import this FBX into another software and just have a look. It is something that's quite big. All right, now you can see this is a completely wood texture something like this and here this is a metallic surface and then you can see your texture already embedded now that's all so this is really a complete 3d modeling tutorial just for beginner use the maya 2022 and as a 3D animator or game developer, you have to master all of this the 3D modeling skill so that you can create any of the any of your 3D model. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing! So happy 3D modeling. See you in my next video. See you.